Welcome to another weekend project episode from Bartley Woodworking. Today I'm going to show you how to build this laundry hamper quickly and on budget. The supplies you need are safety glasses, hearing protection, a drill bit, stain, a finish, a foam brush, washers, wood screws, dowels, and a drill bit, and a solder gun and solder. Using a pair of aviation snips, I can cut the chicken wire to length, leaving some extra to hang over. Next, I cut every other square so I can pin it around the base and attach the screws and washers in a later step. Here, I am cutting the 1 inch oak dowel to 2.5 inches. Be very careful cutting the small legs for this piece. I am using a jig to help protect my fingers and secure the workpiece. I will be drilling the holes for the dowels deeper in the legs and the base of the hamper. This will make sure I don't drill all the way through the base of the hamper. It doesn't matter that the dowels be perfectly centered. I am drawing straight lines to get a feel for where the center will be, and then I will be using my hole punch to provide a starting location for the drill bit. You can use a hand drill or a drill press to cut the holes for the dowels. The drill press is safer, quicker, and makes a straighter hole. I am placing the feet about 2 inches inside the round base. We purchased a stain grade 15 inch round base for the bottom of this project. I am using 3 legs so the hamper will never rock back and forth and eyeing the best spot for each. These dowels are fluted which will help the glue squeeze out if you put too much in each hole. Since I did this part out of order I am using heavy objects as clamps to let it dry overnight before I put a finish on. Here, I'm using a water-based polyurethane. I'm coating the base with at least two coats. I sand the base to remove anything left over from the stain and use a wide foam brush to coat the wood. If you see bubbles from the finish, you're moving too fast and need to slow down to prevent them. I've pre-drilled the hose for each screw and washer to make sure not to go too deep. The chicken wire is cut and bent around the bottom of the washer secures it to the base. Thanks for watching this weekend project tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments below or message me on Twitter at Bartley Woodwork. Thanks, have a great weekend.